हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू टेक्नोमेट्री पार्ट टू इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लर्न द मेन थिंग साइन कॉस एंड टाइम वॉट डू वी मीन बिफोर वी एक्चुअली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड लेट वी गिव यू मंत्रा पंडित बद्री प्रसाद हरे हरे बो so what does mantra mean if you see this triangle this is a 90 degree angle and let's name this triangle abc the side opposite to the 90 degree angle is the longest side and that side is called hypotenuse that we know hypotenuse now the other two sides are base and perpendicular so three sides of the triangle is called hypotenuse base and perpendicular but there is little trick here what is the trick hypotenuse is confirm the side that is uh, the biggest side and that is opposite the 90 degree angle is called hypotenuse that is confirm there is no doubt in that but perpendicular and base varies actually so if you want to find sin cos and tan anything of this angle angle a or we can say that if angle a is the frame of reference for us then what happens is side opposite to angle a is called perpendicular it is perpendicular for angle a and the side that is included in this uh, angle that is not hypotenuse it is called base this is called base for angle correct please make please understand this if my angle a is the frame of reference in that case the side opposite to angle a is called perpendicular and side including in angle a is called base of the angle a similarly if i take angle b as the reference then again the side that is opposite to angle b will be perpendicular that is perpendicular for angle b and the side that is included with this will be base so this will be base for angle b so what we have seen hypotenuse is constant there is no change in hypotenuse there is no doubt there is nothing hypotenuse means the side that is opposite to the 90 degree angle but the perpendicular and base varies based on the angle we select if we select angle a as the frame of reference this side becomes perpendicular and this side becomes base if we select angle b as the frame of reference this becomes perpendicular and this becomes base correct please note when you are solving right triangle questions you consider only one angle at a point So, if you are considering one angle, because we will try to find sine, cos, tan for this angle. So, in that case, what you do, you just think that the angle which you select, the opposite angle is called perpendicular. Hypotenuse you already know. The next angle is base. Or you can think in this fashion. If you are standing from here, if you are standing here, I mean, if you are taking angle A as the frame of reference, and you are standing here, then what you will see, this line will be perpendicular to you. See, if you are standing here and you are seeing this line, we see this line is perpendicular to you, and this line is your base line because you are standing on this line, correct? See, if you are standing here, you are standing on this line. This line will be base, and this line is perpendicular to you because if you see from base to ninety degree angle, correct? So, thus, what you can do to start with. You just assume that you are standing here. When you feel as if you angle A, you are stand, standing at the angle A. Then you will feel that this is the base because you are standing on the base, and this is the perpendicular. Similarly, in case of angle B, if you see this is B angle, you can't stand on top. You have to stand like this. You are standing like this, right? You see that this is the base. And if you see here, this is the perpendicular. This is perpendicular. This is the base. Here, this is base, and this is perpendicular. Correct. 
because if we're standing here like this, then you'll see this is the base and this is the perpendicular. Similarly, if we stand here like this, you'll see this is the base, AC is the base and BC is the perpendicular. Got it? So what you can do is when you take angle A, then you will see with angle A the side that is included is the base and the opposite side is called perpendicular. From angle A you will see this is BC is perpendicular to angle A. Correct. Similarly, when you take B as the point of reference, you will see that side AC is perpendicular to this and this BC is part of this. So BC is a base. So what if mantra says? Mantra says Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari. That is a light like this. Pandit, P for Pandit, B for Badri, P for Prashad, all divide because we have a long gap here. Three gap, Pandit, Badri, Prashad. Hare, Hare, Go. Pandit, Badri, Prashad, Hare, Hare. I have written this. So this becomes sine, this becomes cos. And this becomes tan. So for any case, sine is nothing but P by H. For any case, cos is nothing but B by H. And for tan is nothing but P by P. So I'm talking about sine of A. I'm talking about sine of A. It is P by H. For A, when I take A as the frame of reference, P is what? This one. This is P for angle B. This is P for angle A, that is BC by H is what? AB. That is nothing but sine of A. Similarly, cos of A. Cos of A is nothing but B by H. B of for A, B is nothing but AC. So AC by H is AB. That will be cos of A. And tan of A is nothing but P by B. For A, P is BC and B is AC. This is nothing but BC by AC. This is how we get the form. Just remember this Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Tol, sin plus tan. Then the sign is nothing but always P by H. Then depending on the angle you select, if you are selecting A, sin A, then it becomes BC by AB. If we would have selected B, then sin B would have become again P by H only. But for B, P is what? AC. So AC by, we will discuss all this thing. So again, sin is nothing but side opposite angle to angle A by hypotenuse. Cos is side adjacent to angle A by hypotenuse. And tan is side opposite to angle A by side adjacent to angle A. This is mathematical definition, difficult to remember. So what we have done is, side opposite is called perpendicular as explained. If you take angle A, side opposite is called perpendicular and side edges is called base, right? And hypotenuse we already know. So what we have got now? So if you replace this, side opposite to angle by perpendicular here, right? And side is by base and side opposite by perpendicular and this by base. So what we get is this only. P by H sin A, P by H. Cos A is equal to P by H, P by H cos A. And tan A is equal to P by B, P by B. This is difficult to remember. Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol is very easy to remember. Just you have to understand that in the right triangle, when you take frame A, A as the point, if you're talking about sine A cos A tan A, then you have to take this side, the opposite side as the perpendicular, and the side which is there, adjacent side with this is called base. Hypotenuse, there is no doubt on hypotenuse, that's the biggest side and that is opposite the 90 degree angle. Similarly, when you take angle B as frame of reference, when you are deriving sin b cos b tan b in that case we will take again the side opposite that is ac as the perpendicular and side adjacent that is bc as the base so just to clear our concept let's find sin b 
cos b and tan b. Okay, we'll do this. Sin b is nothing but if you see p by h, cos b is nothing but b by h. Same formula we'll use, and tan b is nothing but p by. H. Now, when I'm talking about angle b as a frame of reference, my p is what? This one, opposite side opposite to angle. Uh, uh, yeah, side opposite that is AC by H. H is there is no doubt on H, it will always be AB. In case of cos B, we have to find B by H. So, when you take angle B as a reference, base is this side BC because the side adjacent. So, this becomes BC by A. And tan is nothing but P by B. So, when I take angle B as the frame of reference, Perpendicular is AC and base is BC. So this becomes AC by BC. So this is the value of sin B, cos B, and tan B, and these are the value of sin A, cos B, A, and tan. Very simple. Just remember Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol and remember that hypotenuse of a right triangle is always the same. You take any angle, hypotenuse is the same, but Perpendicular and base varies based on which angle you select. You select either A or angle B. See universally because sin 90 is an angle value, you know. Sin 90 is nothing but you will find the value. It's zero actually. Okay? Understand this slide. This is a very, very critical slide. If you understand this, then sin cos tan is very, very simple for you. Just remember sin cos tan. Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bo. Remember this only sin cos tan Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bo. You remember everything that the sin is equal to P by H, cos is equal to B by H, tan is equal to B by U. And I explained you how to find P, B, and H. H is always constant. P and B varies based on the angle you select, whether it is angle A or angle Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.